is up, my fellow TV nerds and movie buffs? I am Alora Bell, and I am keeping you up to date on everything film. In this week's video, we will be covering everything from up-and-coming Netflix and Apple TV films and Rotten Tomato scores to the latest news on YouTubers such as Roman Atwood and Mr. Beast. So stay tuned for more information on that. This week in film-related news, the final film in the To All the Boys trilogy starring Noah Centineo, Lana Condor, and Jordan Fisher titled To All the Boys Always and Forever will premiere on Netflix February 12th just in time for Valentine's Day. So if you are a fan of this film franchise and cannot possibly wait till the premiere, or if you have been thinking of watching the first two films and have not done so, go ahead, log on to Netflix and give them a watch. Also be sure to check out our trailer reaction that was just posted earlier this week and let us know what you think. While on the subject of Netflix films, according to Forbes article written by Travis Bean, the author states that the Netflix film We Can Be Heroes just saw its fourth consecutive day atop the top 10 rankings for movies and its eighth day overall in first place. Given that this film has only been released 19 days prior, this is a huge accomplishment and something that no other Netflix film has ever done before. While this film may have scored a 71% on Rotten Tomatoes, Netflix viewers and fans hold it to a much higher regard, so a huge congratulations to the cast and crew on that. This, however, is not the only Netflix original with a big accomplishment this week because season one of the Netflix series Lupin has just received a perfect score of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and might be worth watching for all of you action and comedy fans out there. Alongside this Netflix series, Apple TV series Dickinson starring Haley Seinfeld, whom we discussed in last week's video, has received a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes as well for its second season. Also coming in close with a Rotten Tomato score of 95% is Disney Plus's WandaVision. Now let's take it back to Apple TV, where the original film Cherry, starring Tom Holland and Sierra Bravo, will be premiering on March 12th later this year. All right, folks, now that we covered movies and streaming sites, you know what time it is. It would seem that Roman Atwood has made his big return to YouTube after the birth of him and his wife, Brittany's third child. This YouTuber does have another child from a previous marriage, so this would make it his fourth overall, so congratulations to the Atwoods family. And in other YouTube-related news, according to an article by Tube Filter, Jimmy Donaldson, better known on YouTube as Mr. Beast, hit 50 million subscribers earlier this month and now stands at the 15th most subscribed channel on all of YouTube. Yikes, that's a lot of subscribers, so congratulations to him, very much deserved. That's all we have for now. Hope you have a great week. Be sure to subscribe and tune in next week for more film-related news. I'm Alora Bell, and I will see you soon.